Hi, everyone. I hope that you all have had a great week and I welcome all of you to our weekly Communities of Practice Sunday check-in session, a half hour of Dharma, reflection and community connections. If you are a new member of our community, please accept our wholehearted welcome to you. If you have any questions regarding our practices and topics, we are all here to help. So it is customary for people in Australia to begin any meeting by acknowledging the traditional owners of our land. I would like to start today by acknowledging the Darwo people as the traditional owners of the land on which Nantian Institute resides. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of the various lines on which you all are, and I pay my respects to the elders in the past, present, and emerging. The check-in sessions have been developed by our communities of practice team and the entire community. The purpose of these sessions is to develop a reflective practice in response to changes. Guided by humanistic Buddhism, we would like to cultivate our practices and to build memorable friendships. With the contributions of your thoughts, compassion and wisdom, we had a very insightful session last week regarding the topic of trust in shared humanity. And it gave new ideas and inspirations to our facilitator, Dr. Cecile Manikan, to prepare this week's session about self awareness. Let's welcome Dr. Cecile Manikan to lead us on another wonderful check-in journey. Thank you very much, uh, Xiao Meng. And we now start with our check-in session. And this will be followed by a short Dharma talk. My last two sessions will be on self-knowledge. We go deeper into that. And yes, today is about self-awareness, after which uh, we will have our breakout session. And I will be with you after the breakup. Thank you very much. It is now time for check-in. Find your most comfortable position, feet flat on the floor with spine erect, but not rigid. Place your hands on your lap or on your side. Close your eyes as we now, now focus on the scalp, the skin covering your head. Remove all tensions and ligament pressures from your scalp. The scalp is now feeling very relaxed. Let this relaxation feeling now flow down to your face as you remove all tensions from your face. Let this relaxation feeling now flow down to your neck, all the way to your shoulders, down to your arms, all the way to your fingertips. We will now relax the back from the knee to the tip of the spine. Relax. And let this relaxation feeling now flow down to your thighs, down to your knees, legs, ankles, feet, and toes. Your whole body is now feeling very relaxed. Let this relaxation feeling now flow down from the top of your head all the way to your toes. Let us bring our attention now to the nose as you become aware of your breathing. Be aware of every in-breath and out-breath without any control, without any judgment. Breathe naturally until you hear the sound of a bell.
we now focus our attention to the ears as you become aware of the noise in your room. Become aware of your body as you sit in meditation. Slowly move your fingers and when you are ready, you may open your eyes. Okay, thank you, Cecile, for this beautiful meditation guidance. Next, we will dive into today's topic, self-awareness. Auspicious greetings. Our topic today is self-awareness. In Buddhist practice, self-awareness is actually finding one's own original face. Venerable Master Xing Yin has to say on this topic, the greatest strength comes from within, for it is the strength of self-control and self-management. Emotional competence is derived from emotional intelligence, otherwise known as EQ, as proposed by Harvard professor Daniel Goleman in the 80s. It is the ability to manage self and relationships. Self-awareness gives rise to two more important aspects that determine the quality of our relationships. First, awareness of others and self-management. We cannot effectively manage relationships without awareness of others and the necessary self-regulation that comes with it. Cultivating self-awareness invites us to be still and to reflect our impact upon others. Habitual reflection invites us to an inner silence, to cultivate inner sensitivity towards empathy in our becoming aware of others. And with such greater sensitivity, we develop the inner refinement to guide our thought and behavior towards self and others. On this silence, the writer Pico Iyer says, in this practice, silence is something more than just a pause. It is that enchanted place where space is cleared and time is stayed, and the horizon itself expands. In silence, we often say, we can hear ourselves think. But what is truer to say is that in silence, we can hear ourselves not think and so sink below ourselves into a place far deeper than mere thought allows. In silence, we might better say we can hear someone else think. This space enables us to unite with others in the depths of our being. Self-awareness that arises from this space brings with it the silence that is not an absence, but a powerful presence in our ability to connect to the beating of the pulse and the rhythm of the hearts of those around us. In the eloquence of silence and inner knowing, we unite to heal and become a gift to one another. It is now time to reflect. Let us look into our relationships and examine how with greater self-awareness empathy, and self-regulation, we can become a healing gift to others. Thank you. So we're all back now, and I think it's time to share. Uh, Phyllis is saying self-awareness is important to guide our daily interaction with each other naturally. Yeah, and realization, observe from hand of self-awareness, and be silent or calm so much to this silence in order to live harmoniously with one another change ourself and everything begins with self that's right and Stacy is saying optimism maximize optimism new word I learned from Li Peng okay meta to give through awareness from Sir Peter de Graaf I have yeah meta to give through awareness and Joey this conversation reminded me about the five facets of a socio-emotional learning 
when I did my postgraduate. Yeah, that's right. My Daniel Goldman. The other one is meditation. Another aspect there. So yes, uh, responsible decision making. If you apply it to management, that's motivation. Awareness is an act of knowing the present. Self awareness is that the same thing as selfishness. Yes, of course. And maximizing collaborative optimism. Priscilla says self compassion allows us to be honest with ourselves and help us on our journey to self awareness. Courage to look at your fears and act to overcome them. Now, this is um, knowledge of our emotions, uh, being aware of our emotional states and how they affect others as well. I'd like to go back to the silence thing. Uh, I was saying that we go into stillness and silence when we develop self-awareness. Uh, any thoughts on that? Buddhist practice, we go mindful practice, uh, we journey. What is there in silence that develops self-awareness? Thank you, Cecil. We really hope the check-in session uh, was helpful to you and we hope you experience the unconditional love and compassion from this community. But for anyone who might be experiencing the great need than what today could meet, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us and you can also reach out to the professional organizations on the screen. So as we check out today, let's recite the dedication of marriage together to sign love and compassion to whoever in need. Let us now dedicate the goodness of what you have done to all living beings. May kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity pervade all worlds. May we cherish and build affinities to benefit all beings. May Chan, Pure Land, and Precepts inspire equality and patience. May our gratitude and humility give rise to great vows. So on Saturday 7th, August from 2 to 3 AEST, Professor Stephen Hill will be giving a talk on circular economy. This talk opens to the door to the combination of economics, the spiritual and the connection in our daily life. You can find the registration link on the screen and I will also share it to the chat box later. So thank you everyone for joining us. Today's session told me that the development of self-awareness provides us with a chance to explore our inner silence from which we can hear and feel the others. I hope that our community can also bring you a sense of healing and wholeness. Now we will have our Euro post check-in discussions. So please stay if you have time. Otherwise, see you all again next week at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Thank you.